Alright, tubes. I'm gonna get my uh, toolbox here situated. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Adam was out here with me, but I don't know where he went. That oil I'm gonna wipe out, I just put it in there to kind of soak everything again. Um, I was actually just checking to see how if there's any kind of leak. And they look pretty even. Somewhat, I didn't really pour it too evenly that much, I guess, but doesn't seem to be leaking down, so I think we're, we're gonna be good. Um, doing some work on the head. I've just been kind of picking away at cleaning the old gasket surface off. I got a couple spots I still need to try and get off. Um, but what I wanna do is just do a quick and dirty straightness check because this could make or break the whole day today. Um, otherwise, I've got, um, where's my inject? Oh, fuel rail and injectors are clean. Injectors got a little dirt in them, so, but um, I went and scrubbed this with some uh, two-stroke gas and cleaned all the dirt off. We got new injector O-rings in there. The ones that were in here um, are on there. They're, uh, here's one of them. They're pretty, they're, they feel like plastic. Should be like rubber. So those are done. Um, really glad I had him get these. Um, we're left with a bunch of extra O-rings that I don't know what those are for. Um, but basically, if you have that style O-ring that I just showed you, this is a non-California uh, rig. So if you see that, um, you've got a non-California rig. California ones, I think, have different injectors, different O-rings, and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm just going to pick away at this and just kind of clear this out. Um, we've got new plugs for it. We'll put that in here in a minute. Um, I kind of want to do it with the head off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the spark plugs all like this. So that, um, well, actually, your air and fuel come in right here. They come out. Eh, that would be a good spot for them, I think. No, 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 no. You stay at the table. Um kind of like the orientation like that because as the air and fuel comes in here it just ignites it right right away and this is your exhaust so I'm gonna work on orientate or uh, cl finish cleaning this up orientate those plugs a little specific way it really doesn't matter all that much but I want to do it anyways it's a little hot rod trick uh, hot riders use that way you maximize every little bit of combustion you could possibly get so I'm going to do a few things with this, check it out, and then we're going to get our new head gasket. Um, well, first we need to clean the surface of the block, just wipe it down, make sure there's no dirt oil, and then we'll put our head gasket on, and then we'll uh, slap this baby on and start torquing some heads. I got brand new head bolts uh, buried in the box there somewhere. Um, and then I bought a tool because we're missing, we need a 3 8 12 millimeter, 12 point. This is actually universal, but it fits the head bolts pretty damn good. So we'll be able to use that, and it's a deep or deep socket, so I actually will not need an extension, I don't think. I um, guess the cat found a new place to sleep. Her and the other cat have been kind of fighting a little bit, but you know, whatever. So this is what I went with for spark plug orientation. Put a little bit of silicone paste on them as I put them in. Made them a lot easier to go in. That one at the very end was uh, pretty happy with where it was at, and I just uh, got it without snapping it. That would have been uh, not fun. So, anyways, um, basically, once they got kind of snug, I just went um, probably 30 degrees from where I where it snugged up, and I just went until it got to, to here and stopped it. And I figured that way is fuel and air come out here they're getting the spark on both sides at least that's my theory anyways so um, yeah let's roll with that
36 foot pounds tubes and we're just gonna find our little sequence here and did you find the sequence? It doesn't have one. What about the other one that I sent you? That one that one does not include the head. It doesn't include the head? No, it's just blower lock. Okay, well, can you look up some kind of sequence? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't wanna bring it in the in the garage and he's like, you should. Here you go. If we get this torque, we get the, the, the thing that's fine. Come on, let's get my tubes. Come on, let's try. Just uh, hang on one quick second. There, let's just. Three, four. This is one. Two. Okay. Well, let's see. Start with that one. I know one thing, I'm going to have to, when I do the 90, I'm going to have to go on from the outside on this one. Oh, just go on the outside. Oh, there we go. We'll go back and recheck the torque, and then I'll do the 90 on it. I'm glad I got the deep socket because I didn't want to, uh, you know, have to do the extension on because then it doesn't exactly take away the torque, but it does mess up how far you have to go to breach torque. <laughs> Three. That's, that's tree. Okay. Whoops. Technically, you're supposed to smack it first. Now, I thought you already smacked it. I thought so too. I think it's sucking the gasket down, that's all. Oh, hold on, no, 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 no. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do that one? You almost fucked that up. That's bullshit. I'm gonna do it. No, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, next so one? next. So we went there. Okay, so we have to go over to here. here. Yeah? Which is four. And then... We jump to... Then that one? That one is five. Yeah. That's five. Okay. Five. And we come back here for number six. Okay. That's, I don't want to That's this. number six tubes. Number six. Number number six. What are you, Jewish? Okay. Okay, so we're at six. So we're going to go all the way to the front here for Ooh. number seven. Yummy, yeah, front of the line. VIP. And back of the house. Number eight. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Coming over here, Tibbs. <laughs> the one time you want. Okay, so the eight. Thing you do. And we're on the outside here for number nine. Cash me outside. How about that? Oh, God. Don't even start that. Okay, one more, any more? So that was nine, we're gonna go to number 10 up here. It just barely fits. And that is the end of our sequence. Now we have to go back and apply the 90. We're gonna do that after we recheck the torque.
Adam, what's the uh, torque spec there? Uh, 14 foot pounds. Oh, Which, yeah. this is the only torque wrench we have and we're kind of close enough. The neighbor came over and helped help us with some alcohols. Yeah, you guys, you want? I had quite a bit. I'll have more. I don't give. A, I don't care. Look, the cat's like, oh, big bear. Big bear. Oh, I'm talking about Alvin. Fuck, Just fuck off, soul. Jesus Christ. So we got our little, our little dinky little plate on. He's trying to get the timing set up. Correctly. Yeah, our setup. I just gotta get this belt. You just have to have this side tight as possible. Yeah, which I mean, don't. I mean, you know, just. No, hold on. Look there. And they're like, oh, the water pump and the oil pump have this timing mark, but then you're like, but this is not a Honda. They're, they don't have any balancing action going on. Well, so it's on the. It's on the. They're supposed to be on the case here. There's a timing mark for the crank, but this mm. this particular oil pump does not have that. Right, because it's a, a Ching Chong China special, it's Chinesium. which I can so guarantee you, it's Chinesium. So, <laughs> I'm Ted Terrachalicals, and I'm done with my sickle. All right, so Adam got the timing down. We rotated it several times. It doesn't collide with anything. And so I put the timing covers on, and then next is pretty much valve cover. We have valve cover and gaskets, which I have over here on the grill, cooking. It's actually uh, settling now. Let the uh, you know, let the meat. You gotta let the meat settle for a little bit after you cook it. Right, right, tubes. Am I right? right. Yeah. I can't even. I can't even. Gotta let the meat settle. You know. I just, I just got your mom in the background. Like, yeah, get that off my grill. <laughs> I had this all on low, so basically the temperature in here was basically under under hood temp. Um, I scrubbed it a little bit with the hose and some Dawn just to get the bulk of stuff off. I'm not going to paint or anything. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, but once it cools out a little bit, I'll get the gaskets in it and we'll get that torque down onto the head here. And uh, this is all full of break-in oil. I put five quarts in. We have a filter that's empty. This is all sealed up now, lubed up. So when we go to take it off, it should be pretty easy. All right, we got the motor. The motor? <laughs> got our LS swap ready to go. I'm just kidding. No, it's a it's Toyota. Like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. <laughs> it's half of one? No. Yeah, no that's, it's, actually, that's actually under the back. Take another one, we can make a V8. Hey, we actually have that 10 mil. You have a, we have a, do we have a 10? 12 point now? Or is that 12 12? That's 12. Yeah, a 12 12. That might be. Uh, probably. Uh, For what? Take the stupid clutch off because I probably should just to look at it. Oh, you're talking about your other motor? Yeah. I'm like, what clutch? This is the auto. I had an epiphany. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? 61 foot pounds? Yep. 60 foot what? 60, 61 foot pounds. A foot pounds. All right. He's going to torque that in a crisscross pattern and I'm going to hold it on the other side.
guys, this is gonna be a big one. We're, uh, this thing pretty much, well, actually it is back together. Just gotta put the battery in there. Mm -hmm. Back on there. Uh, torque converter bolts are snugged, loctited. Glove box back together, computer's plugged in. Um, however, the EFI, which I think is our fuel pump, is disconnected, so hopefully it doesn't fire off. I'll go check and make sure we're alive in there. Yeah, we're alive. Battery was, is freshly topped off. Fuck that. Oh my god, I hope it runs. Almost. Smoking. Yeah, it's got gear oil on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's on fire already. Like, oh, and there's stuff on the. Yeah, I'm sure there's some smell on it. Wow. <gasps> Sounded great. Get, get, get me. Get, you got it? Hey, you. You're down low. Yeah. I hate that. Get, no, that's good. He wants to like hear it. You're like, oh, yeah, you're, 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 you're. I can't see shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is me right now. So we're going to put coolant in it and uh, run it for a while. Yeah, it's uh, it sounds great. No leaks so far. I still think we need to get it off the jack stand, but you know, that's... I, that's, that's, no, that's thinking way too ahead. She's a runner. Um, we are still in the process of bleeding the air out of the coolant. There's a ton of air. What air? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, hey, she's airborne. Uh, ew. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of air in the coolant. I'm letting it, I'm letting it, I'm going to let it sit overnight. When I come home from work tomorrow, I'm going to uh, fill it up. Now that it's not boiling hot, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to just keep filling um, until the hose stays full. Because it, it has to, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it is. So it has to be, it has to have a lot of air in it. So I'm just going to keep filling it up until it stops accepting uh, coolant. And then, because um, right now, 
I don't, I think there's so much air in there, the, the water pump's not grabbing it, so we're not really getting any flow. Um, the water pump that we put in there, I did check it. It's metal on metal, like it's a solid water pump. Like there should be no reason why it's not flowing coolant. Um, so I think it's just because of the air. But anyways, it runs great. We let it run for a little bit until she got a little too hot and we had to turn it off. Um, the rattling, I don't know what that rattling is, but um, it quieted down when it was uh, at idle. So it was running pretty good. Um, and we didn't really see any blue smoke out of the tailpipe. It was, no, it was clean. It was yeah, really clean. The only thing that was coming out was just condensation, but that was from the, you know, the exhaust has got moisture in it from the last uh, month or two of, you know, moisture getting in there because it really wasn't sealed off. Um, we checked the oil and the oil is crystal clear. There's no metal flakes on it so far and it's probably ran maybe a total of a half hour. Um, but the plan is to get it fully bled out, get all the coolant or the air out of it and then once it's um, running at normal operating temp and we can run it for a bit, we're going to let it run for about an hour to an hour and a half. Luckily before he blew up the motor, he filled the tank. Coincidence, I think not. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, with that, Johnson out. Fucking one hell of a hell. I'm peached. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got the socket on my prop. <laughs> <laughs>